Well hello everybody and today I'm going to be talking about toilets. In caravans and motorhomes uh, one type of toilet is the Thetford cassette type of toilet and that really is the, the cassette is effectively a plastic box and the more modern ones have wheels on with an extendable handle that you so you can pull it around uh, to the emptying point but what I want to do first of all is show you um, the, ins the, well, the inside of the toilet room so you get a feel for how a caravan toilet uh, would work now I just want to say that not all caravan toilets are like this then some of the um, the bigger sort of American motorhomes have what's called a black water tank much like the grey water tank that we have on our motorhome um, it stores um, a larger amount of uh, waste uh, it, it's then not chemical uh, waste it's not a chemical toilet so you don't need because it goes and flushes away like a standard toilet but it holds a load more like a hundred liters of effectively raw sewage that you then uh, open and um, dump if you like into a black waste uh, service point for motorhomes and so on um, there are uh, just talking about those a bit more the the black water tanks um, sort of are available on bigger motorhomes and indeed on narrow boats uh, narrow boats can't sort of park over somewhere and and dump from underneath so they have um, a sort of a vacuum pump um, emptying point so you you put the vacuum pump in and it just sucks it all out and, and puts it into a waste point but we have um, the Thetford cassette and I'm just going to show you uh, inside the toilet now So those of you familiar with caravans and motorhomes will have seen a toilet room something like this um, and this is a standard uh, sort of toilet configuration this this uh, whole thing sort of swivels round so you can sort of move it out the way and put it into a convenient uh, place for you to uh, do your thing and it has the standard sort of lid and seat that can lift up so you'll see that but there you'll see uh, down there is a hole but you'll notice it doesn't have any water in it like a standard toilet because that is the hole that goes into what is effectively the plastic box or the Thetford toilet cassette. Now um, I've, I've put a bit of water in so you, you'll be able to see um, what's um, what you what happens so when you come to do your business you would then open the uh, the cover by use of this sort of handle on the side this slides forward and then opens that cover and you'll be able to see um, it's still down into a dark hole uh, and there is a little bit of water in there um, and when you've done done your thing you would then use the the flushing mechanism up here so there's a and you might be able to hear that buzzing noise is a sort of extraction fan if you press it keep your finger on this button you will notice that there is a sort of a, a flush of water that comes through there and that is that flush of water is is delivered from this uh, sort of spout here so it's flushed all around around the pan and gives you um, a bit of a gives your toilet pan a bit of a wash around um, and goes into the toilet cassette but let's pop outside and see how we get that cassette out of the um, under toilet 
unit so remember that cassette is effectively just underneath the toilet here so we're now outside uh, the sort of bathroom area here so we're you know this is the sort of cabinet that that cassette is kept in and it's a fairly standard way so it opens up and there's a this is um this is the cassette inside here so let me just this handle that lifts up and most of them are this sort of um, type of configuration so this pulls out and it has a sort of carry handle on top and you'll see um, this is effectively this part it covers up that black round hole that we saw earlier there and that is the sort of rubber seal that seals in the stuff that's inside the container um, if we this this sort of orange switch here will open that there and there's a you know see a bit of water sort of sloshing around in there um, it's ju it is just water so don't worry don't get, don't get too uh, upset that you're seeing any of our toilet doings you're not so this this sort of goes over for transportation um, I think I left a bit of water in the in the top which is why it sort of spilled over that's not normal um, and that's that's sort of you know we always make sure it's all clear of anything um, now there is uh, for emptying we've got the extendable handle here um, which then allows us to wheel it around over to the emptying point but when it comes time to empty and um, I'm not going to I'm not going to um, wheel it over now and, and record the the site's pretty busy tonight so I'm not going to do that right now but it empties from this end here so this spins around this lid comes off it's a sort of a handy um, a handy lid because the um, container here inside the lid uh, will take enough fluid so the chemical the toilet chemical uh, if you fill this up and pour it back in that gives you enough of the chemical that you need to mix with um, the effluent that's in there to take away any really bad smells so once you're once you're by the emptying point you would take that lid off hold the cassette at this end press this button in now that button is just a an, a sort of an air intake button so that we don't cause a vacuum and and it's easier for then the um, fluids to flow out of that small tube so you hold that in you hold on to this handle um, and then you tip so let me just show you that and demonstrate that so here we are with the cassette um, ready to empty so you would take this lid off by the emptying point you would hold the cassette here and here and press in this button and simply tip the fluids away down the emptying point so you see that um, going to the toilet in a caravan is very similar to um, a normal house but the emptying um, you would normally just flush and then forget about it in a normal house with a, a, a sort of flushing toilet but with the cassette system you need to empty it and as I've said before in other videos um, that a, a, an empty cassette will last us for three to four days before we need to empty it before it gets full now you might ask well how do you know 
when it's full. Well, the flushing mechanism, all those switches, the blue switch and the white fan, um, there are some uh, lights, some level lights on the side of that switch, uh, which tell us and when the it, it's got three green lights. So when the third green light comes on, we've got about two flushes left. Um, I've got to say that we, well, I never really allow it to get that full because it's it's just more difficult to pick up carry and tip out when it's when it's absolutely full and of course when it does get full you don't want to be um, in a situation where you you're you're in a van parked up somewhere you need to go to the toilet you've got to, you've got to the caravan toilet and you know it's full because you then can't go because you, you know it would have nowhere to go so whatever you put down the toilet has to go in that cassette but if the cassette's full um, imagine you know a glass with uh, water in if you tip more water in that glass what does it do it overflows and it would overflow and go all over the top of the cassette and also inside the cassette compartment it literally only takes about five to ten minutes to completely empty out and replenish the chemicals and rinse it out and get my hands washed and all sorted out and back in so that's um, caravan toilet talk <laughs> all done people were asking for more detail on a cassette toilet and that's pretty much it it's not that complex to understand you've got a toilet with a hole uh, a sort of toilet bowl with a hole in it the hole delivers whatever you put down it into the cassette which is the plastic box and stores that there until you're ready to empty it into a chemical toilet emptying point. We're currently using some uh, cheaper um, chemicals. They're about two thirds the price. They work um, pretty much as well. I'm uh, I'm more comfortable with using the Thetford um, chemicals and the green chemical. Uh, it smells slightly different, but I understand it's kinder to the environment. Um, I'll put. A link to the Thetford chemicals down below because the chemicals we're using we buy locally here at the campsite and I don't think they're available um, everywhere online and I know the Thetford chemicals are and we you know, we're, we're gonna get back to using those um, pretty soon now so once we've run out of that one so um, that's it for today it's um, a bit technical sorry but this is caravan and motorhome life this is what we deal with with toilet cassettes you can buy spares of these so and that's something that I'm very much considering Wendy's not keen on the idea um, for when we're out and about I think it's you know maybe sensible to have you know if we're in the middle of the night and the, this cassette's full be nice just to take that one out put it in a in a sealed bag and pop a fresh cassette in uh, until we're ready to sort of empty both of them and get ourselves back. So, and that would give us at least a, a sort of a whole week um, of sort of toilet availability in the van. Um, yeah, I, I'm not in a position where, I'll, you know, I'd, I'd want two or three or four spare cassettes. That would be crazy. Um, but I think one spare cassette would would really help us out in in an emergency situation anyway that's it for today uh, and i'm going to see you again tomorrow take care bye bye for now